debit cards for migrants compared to New mm. York City welfare benefits? I like that. Eric Adams actually, even if he's being baptized again, does consider himself and government above God. And if you criticize him for ruining everything, well, Eric Adams will tell you that it's because you're racist. When you go, when you go uh, to these hercs and you're seeing these young people and I walk in and I talk with them, some of them come from West Africa, South America, Central America, all they're saying is, man, we, we just want to work. We don't want to sit around here all day and not do anything. That is why the real focus should be on our national government that's saying, why are you doing this to New York? Why are you Check out what they're doing. They're doing it to New York. They're doing it to Chicago. They're doing it to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. They're doing it to Houston. What is the same in all those cities? All black mayors. Mm. All black mayors. And so what we're saying, same thing that I'm going through here, my brother Johnson is going through. My sister Bass is going through. My brother Turner is going through. So our folks, are, what they wanted to happen, Governor Abbott wanted to happen, we're going to turn these of, of cities against their mayors. We're going to create this environment where they're all going to go against mm. their mayors. Go Google what they're doing to my brother in Chicago. Go Google what they're doing to Sister Bass. So the cities have now turned against these black mayors that are making real change for the first time. Right, over policing and, black and they, people. And, and, and they're using this to say, okay, these black mayors are not competent. They can't run their cities. They're mm. getting everything to the migrants and asylum seekers. This was a perfectly executed plan that we are buying into. To make black mayors look bad across exactly. the country. Mm. And yeah, when, we, when we're doing just the opposite. Where's the clown? So I can punch the clown. Uh, the kids were playing. I had the kids playing. We blew up the inflatable clown. I told you guys every now and again when I don't really want to analyze something, I'm just going to punch an inflatable clown. We brought it outside with the kids. Maybe somebody could get the clown. I'll punch it at the end of the show. Um, it, it's just incredible. His argument, the argument that what, first off, first off, it's the Democrat administration over the last three years that has let 7 million people into this country. So you want to be pissed at somebody first, you'd be pissed at Joe Biden, right? That would be number one, Eric Adams. Number two, when you're talking about Karen Bass in LA and you're talking about Brandon Johnson in Chicago and Houston, et cetera, et cetera, you guys are all sanctuary cities. You came in saying we are sanctuaries for illegals to come here. Now illegals get there and they're causing violence and drug use and it, it's an endless suck on the system. The taxpayer is getting less because you have, you're, you're distributing that money elsewhere to these illegals and people are turning on you because they're seeing the results of all that and you think it's because basically Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott, the, uh, the governors from red states who are sending people to your sanctuary cities, you think it's because they're racist. No, they're doing exactly what you guys said. You guys said you're sanctuary cities. And states, we are not here in Florida. Texas is not. Okay, you could call us racist if you want, but nobody is screwing you over with these people that you said you wanted because they're racist. Oh. The other thing, of course, that Eric Adams is doing is he's not only welcoming these people and then saying that it's, his, that it's not his fault that they're causing a problem, he's also just giving them care. How do debit cards for migrants compare to New mm. York City welfare benefits? I like that. That's a good question because that was one of the biggest myths. And I think the Daily News just did a piece today of saying why this makes sense. So here's what happened. We were paying people, because we, by law we got to feed them three meals a day. We got to feed the migrants um, three meals a day. When I told the team we spent, we got to bring down the cost of this by 30% because it was costing us too much money, $12 billion over three years, $4 billion already. One of the places was food. We were seeing that we were having a 10% food waste. People were getting food that they didn't, didn't want and they discarded. So my team came together, first deputy mayor, Sheena Wright, first black woman to be a first deputy mayor. She, she came up with a team called Mochafy, an MWBE, black product. They said that we can give people food cards where they can only purchase food and baby supplies. You will save uh, $600,000 a month in course, people would buy the food that they want and not giving it to them from someone from some large conglomerate. Then they will ha have to spend the cards in the bodegas, the supermarkets, the local stores, so the money stays inside the com community and, and the program is run by a person of, a person of color. We're saving seven mil over $7 million a year. 
We have no more food waste because people are buying what they want. It's a black-owned company, so we put money back into a black business. It's like I said, I, I, I was going going to do. And you cannot buy anything but food or baby supplies. It's a complete win. Look, I get his suits fit well, but he is a racist and an idiot. Um, his obsession with, okay, the black owned this and the deputy is black and Bob, okay, who cares? Does any of this stuff work? What law, by the way? He says the law says we have to feed these people three meals a day. Now, I, I'll accept that notion that there is a law in New York that says that, uh, but we also have federal immigration law that is being flouted sending you these people. So guess what? You could just deport them. You could just say, sorry, uh, we know we let you in. We're... You know, and even give them, a, you could give them a, uh, what do you, what did kids give at birthdays? You give them not a parting gift, like it's a game show. What do you get? A goodie bag. You get a goodie bag. We'll give you a little something on your way out. A parting gift. You'll get a, and you'll get the Price is Right Home Edition. Like you're going to get something. You get it? But you can't, what, there's a law that says we got to give them, and, he, and it's just a, you can see what the government is. It's a giant grift. It's a giant, well, we'll get this guy to spend the money here, and we'll give this guy the money. Awful.